When Barizad Harmbag Sunyan created his first khachkar in 1988, he says he immediately forgot how to design clothes, his profession at the time. He now had a new calling. And more than two decades and 450 khachkars later, Barizda is still carving his precious cross stones, erecting them both in Armenia and around the world. But it's not a talent he takes lightly. He views the stones not as artwork, but as gifts to the Armenian people from God. Any Armenian can make a khachkar, he says. It's in their blood. To Varazda, the khachkar represents Armenia's resilience in preserving its identity. We know that many nations tried to spoil our Christianity, he says, but we were so strong and overcame our difficulties and tried to save our nationality and religion. And to this day, the stones still have a mystical influence on people, he says. He calls the cross stones Armenia's spiritual soldiers. There are no khachkars that are bad, he says. There are simple ones, but they are not bad. To create a khachkar, Vadarzdat first sketches out his ideas. He shows us a handful of his designs and looks at his drawings fondly, as if showing us photos of his five children. Ask him about his favorite piece of work, and with smiling eyes, he'll tell you it's the one he hasn't made yet, the one sketch he's kept secret and won't reveal until the day he has a chance to make it. After drawing a sketch, he brings in Tuf, the naturally pink rock so commonly found in Armenia. For his larger pieces that stand one to two meters high, he brings in more than a ton of rock. By the time it's finished, the stone weighs about 700 kilograms, losing about a fourth of its original weight. Radozat and his four pupils work on the stones in his workshop, which sits right outside his house in the center of Yerevan. While a number of electronic tools have been invented, Badrzdat prefers not to use them. Instead, he uses a bucket of old chisels, hammers, shavers, and other tools. Tools, he jokes, from the Stone Age. He doesn't wear gloves because he likes the feel of the soft stone on his hands. The stone is like bread, he says, while stroking it gently. Within one year, he and his colleagues can make up to 20 cross stones and his khachkars have been exported to a number of countries, including America, Canada, Greece, Poland, Turkey, and Belgium. Barazdat hopes that the khachkars will help to bridge relations between Armenia and these countries. The cross for me is a symbol of kindness, he says, a symbol of whole humanity.